America's greatest natural wonders lies here, where Argentina meets Brazil. Deep in the jungle, 275 falls cascade over a giant horseshoe, two and a half miles wide, Iguazu Falls. The Cataratas del Iguazu, from the Guarani word meaning great waters, are some of the most spectacular falls in the world. We have volcanoes activities in this area 200 million years ago. And after the volcanoes activity, it became a desert. And we suppose that happened 70 million years ago where uh, the ground broke. The ground fractured, the rains came, and a stream became a river, a torrent of water. The hard rock is rich in iron, and its red color, which also stains the river, comes from the iron oxide. The subtropical rainforest provides an incredible jungle setting, and every turn reveals a new and seemingly more spectacular view of the falls. We also say this is the first wonder, natural wonder in Earth, uh, because we have so far identified 3,000 species of vegetals, 500 species of birds, 1,700 species of butterflies and insects, nobody knows. Vines with um, what we call lianas or lianas, and the ground and the jungles, it's too much competition. So when they get to the top of the trees, it's not competition, so they leave the tree and stay hanging. But at the beginning, use the tree to get the top. And it's light, what they're looking for is light, they need light. It's easy to see how the Tarzan stories evolved. These vines can bear up to 500 pounds in weight. This appealing ring-tailed character is a Koti, a member of the raccoon family. The trip to Isla San Martin is 50 meters down with 170 graduated stops and views of 20 falls. wait for the tell-tale silver gleam of a fish, and flocks of great dusty swifts swoop through the billowing mists. The name swift is coming because it's the faster flyer bird on Earth. In this area, they spend 80% of his life, of its life, flying. And uh, at this moment, it's a nesting time. So they go behind the falls to nest in there and uh, to be safe for the predators. At Puerto Canoas, a boardwalk leads to a viewing platform on the edge of Isla Grande, which separates the river into two arms. Here the water plunges 240 feet off the basalt flow into the cauldron below. The Guarani Indians who lived in this area were a high-spirited warrior people befriended by the Jesuit priests, who arrived in the 1500s and protected them from slave catchers the Bandarantes and Polistas from Brazil. It was a positive integration of cultures and all prospered. The Guarani had many legends of their own for the cauldron, but it was perhaps the influence of the Jesuits that has resulted in the name for which it is best known, the Devil's Throat. In 1767, when Charles III expelled the Jesuits from Spain and its empire, the missions were sacked, and many of the Guarani were either killed or taken as slaves. For more information, visit our website on topoftheworld.net.